100 years ago, Batumi bustled as a hub of European trade and culture. The arrival of the railroad boosted the deep sea water port's status as a major center for refined petroleum. At its peak, Batumi boasted more than 20 international consulates and classic European architecture. It all came crumbling down when Soviet rule cut off outside influence. For most of the 20th century, Batumi lay isolated and forgotten. Today, the city is witnessing a renaissance, its skyline, its spirit lifted. Batumi has mapped out an ambitious plan for itself that could restore its legendary status as the city for trade and tourism on the Black Sea, a plan already leaping off the drawing boards and stretching eight kilometers along a palm-lined corniche. Everywhere you turn in this seaside resort, you hear the rattle and the hum of construction, public works projects literally paving the way for what will be broad commercial development. Local leaders say three billion dollars in public and private investment are already at work. Now our idea is just to come back, come back as a creating real European city, creating real European destination. International investors are buying into that. This month, Sheraton officially hung out its sign on a gleaming new hotel. Other major chains are following with their own hotel casinos. Ski resorts are planned nearby, and the region teams in the atmosphere of a gold rush. It is very exciting because a miracle is happening in Batumi, and I'm part of it. The 120,000 people who live here see the same miracle. Batumi's old city is getting new water, sewage, electricity, and internet connections. A once faded square has been rebuilt, the classic architecture restored. But the biggest change, jobs. Before, we only had unemployment, this man told us. Now he and his sons are working in construction and enjoying the benefits. Schools have initiated language classes in anticipation of foreign visitors. People are being trained in the restaurant and hotel industries. Suddenly, everyone sees a future in Batumi. What's happening now is happening for us, this woman said. I have a daughter, and I want the best life for her. Critics say development has come too quickly and teeters on the edge of Disneyland at some turns. But don't try to tell that to local residents. Six years ago, they were ruled by a warlord with his own private army. Today, they're reclaiming this city as a strategic crossroads between Europe and Asia. The way they see it, they're also reclaiming their future. Jim Clancy, CNN, Batumi.